Hey, uh, speaking of uh, getting all shook up and stuff, uh, heard some rain overnight. <laughs> It did. It woke me up. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, we had a few stronger storms roll through, especially Dallas County in that 430 to 5 a.m. time frame, 70 to 75 mile an hour straight line winds. And you saw some of that damage earlier. Everything is calmed down, though. We've actually been able to see a little bit of sunshine peek through visible satellite imagery showing uh, the thicker clouds are really sort of fizzling out just in the last couple of hours. And now a lot of us seeing sunshine. Temperatures, though, still a lot cooler than where we were yesterday. For most of us, anyway. Remember, we had a couple of storms in the Metroplex that had temperatures cooler yesterday afternoon. But uh, we've got 77 in Bridgeport and Graham right now. Bowie at 75. 80 in Fort Worth. 82 in McKinney. 85 degrees right now. Now in Terrell, after really an incredible amount of rain over the last 48 hours. Now, this is through 8 a.m. this morning. We're waiting for any updates to come in officially from the National Weather Service office. But look at this a Grapevine Lake showed this to Doug Dunbar. Five and a half inches of rain over that just in the last 48 hours. Allen picking up nearly three inches of rain. Love Field a little more than one and a half inches of rain. And when we look at the radar estimated rainfall just from satellite, you can see Denton County more than anything else, kind of showing up in the color that I'm wearing, right? So we look at just Denton County, uh, Louisville picking up almost five inches of rain. I mean, we had several spots that picked up uh, more than three inches of rain in a very short amount of time. So a lot of flood advisories yesterday and into the overnight hours this morning as well. But again, everything's sort of calming down. So hour by hour tonight, I think we've got partly cloudy skies. Just the chance for an isolated sprinkle. I think most of us are dry. Temperatures are in the mid-70s by 10 o'clock. Should still be a little bit cooler for tomorrow, but we got to talk about more rain and storms on the way. I do think we're dry through the overnight hours, at least until we get to that morning commute tomorrow. Then, as we roll around to 5 a.m., start to see some light showers moving in for some of our western counties, and then some pockets of heavier rain at about 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. Watch as they get closer to the I 35 corridor, though. It weakens. The models are really not in agreement on exactly what we're going to see transpire for tomorrow. We've got coverage at 40%. I think through the morning and early afternoon. And then we may have more just isolated showers and storms in the late afternoon time frame. But once we get rid of the daytime heating, we should start to see everything fizzle out. So I don't think this is an issue for those Friday night uh, date night plans. But we do have some rain around into Saturday morning as well. By Sunday, sunshine back into the mid 90s. And yes, we are still looking at the upper 90s for next week, uh, getting very close to 100 on Tuesday. And lows will be back into the mid 70s, guys. Well,